economists write long theories on this, but it is actually very simple. First thing you need is harmony. And the second thing you need is you need to put money into people's hands. If those two things happen, India's economy will grow. The Prime Minister did demonetization. He applied a flawed GST and then Corona struck. We told the government, put money into people's hands immediately. Don't waste time because the economic engine needs to be started quickly. They did nothing. We did Manrega. We put money into poor people's hands. The economy started working. We do right to food. Economy starts working. We did farm loan waiver. Economy starts working. Logic is very simple. It's not complex. If you put money into a poor person's hand, that poor person will go and buy something. If he goes and buys something, someone will need to produce that thing. If somebody starts to produce that thing, the factory will need people to do the job. And employment will start happening. So the first thing we are going to do when we come to power in Kerala is Nai Yojana. And don't be confused that we are doing this as some form of charity. We are giving you money through the Nai Yojana so the economy starts working. We are putting money in your pocket so that you can spend the money. It's like jump starting a car. You have to put fuel into the engine before the car can start. Right now the chief minister is sitting in a car there is no fuel in the car and he keeps turning the key. He just keeps turning the key, keeps turning the key, keeps turning. He won't put fuel in the car. The left people take time to learn these things. Maybe after another 20, 30 years, they will understand basic economics. We have chief minister going to come. We are going to do Nyai Yojana. Chief minister will sit in the car. He will turn the key and the economy of Kerala will start. And no youngster will be lying in front of the Vidhan Sabha. And if youngsters do have a problem, I guarantee you one thing. Unlike the LDF chief minister, the UDF chief minister will go and embrace those boys and speak to them. We will never ever allow the future of Kerala to lie in front of the Vidhan Sabha. Government that is empathetic, government that listens to people, government that understands that people are in difficulty, people are suffering. Government that does not differentiate between our organization and others. Government that understands the suffering and the pain of everybody. And I'm confident that the UDF government will have the empathy, will have the sensitivity to run such a government.